So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video. Now in this video we are going to be taking a look at my first three five star trophies here on the new map Aurora Shores. And we're starting off with my first ever five star on this map, a five star Sitka deer. This was such a cool thing to find. I actually saw him as a four star mature and I was crossing my fingers that he would make five star because when I saw him as a four star mature he was actually still pretty brown in colour so I figured that he probably had some time left. Now I wanted to take him with the crossbow so I started calling him in and he was coming in really well until he decided to go up the bank that I was sitting on through the vegetation and around me and as you can see I didn't have time to get the crossbow out and actually take a shot because of where he actually decided to come out of the vegetation. It was actually pretty cool the way he sort of worked himself up the bank and around me as if he was trying to get a view on me and work out what I was, kind of like animals do in real life so it felt really immersive. Now as you will have seen he actually ran off into the thick trees. I pursued him and not very long after I started following where he'd gone I actually got a sound cue. So I started calling with the rattling bag hoping that it would actually be him that I was hearing moving around and sure enough not very long after I get a call from a male Sitka deer 40 to 60 meters away and I knew that that must be the same bug. It had to be. It was the right direction and it just seemed like he didn't spook very far. But this was the coolest thing. Actually spotting him in this thick vegetation, it was just really, really awesome. I said that I wanted to hunt Sitka deer in this environment where you had all these really thick trees just because it looks really awesome. It's just such a well-made environment and it's just so realistic and I just really wanted to hunt a Sitka in this environment and to actually end up hunting my first five star in this environment was just so incredibly cool and as you can see he finally turns to walk towards me which is what I wanted for my shot and just as I was about to take the shot the scope sort of glitched up a little bit but thankfully the shot still absolutely nailed him and dropped him on the spot. I was so relieved that I actually managed to find him, catch up with him when he actually took off, managing to call him in not once but twice with the new rattling bag caller and then managing to take him with the recurve crossbow that you actually get at the end of the missions in the forest. It just couldn't have gone any more perfect and I was absolutely stoked. And just such a cool first five star to find. The sick of five stars looks so awesome. And here we can see what the crossbow bolt actually did. Going straight into that lung there and actually going quite a ways through. Now obviously the crossbow is a tier 2 to 6 so it's got plenty of power to be taking down a Sitka deer but still really happy with how that actually went especially when the shot sort of went a little bit higher than I was actually hoping for. But taking a look at the genetics, this guy is a 99.41%. Now he only scores 468, but that is because as soon as I saw him reach 5 star, I smoked him. Now I expect if I'd actually left him to live a bit longer, he probably would have had a higher score. But honestly, I'm not fussed, especially with my, you know, first 5 star on Aurora Shores. I'm just super happy to have gotten a 5 star, you know, and to get a 5 star Sitka, it's my first one. So I really wasn't going to run the risk of, you know, letting him go and possibly aging and dying so I'm still really happy with that and he was actually still quite brown when I shot him so he probably could have aged you know a decent bit and then like I said got a bit of a higher score but I'm still super happy and like I said I would rather not run the risk with especially with first first time seeing any five stars I'd rather just take them and I'm super happy to have them in the lodge he looks amazing and that's what I'm really concerned about it's just such a fantastic trophy that I'm really really happy to have gotten the antlers on him look really fantastic and I'm just super happy I can't keep saying it enough I really wanted to find a five star sick guy just think they're really really cool and yeah, I love the dark chocolate coloured antlers. They're so beautiful. And then of course with the white tips, they just look really fantastic. I'm super happy. Like I said, the crossbow did a fantastic job as you can see here. Just wanted to show that again because this is my first five star and with the crossbow. So I was super happy with actually using the crossbow on him. But yeah, just a fantastic looking animal. I really hope that they do just a little bit of work with the Sitka models just to give them the double neck patch. But 
I, I think the models are still pretty good right now and I'm super happy with that. Now moving on to my second five star ever on Aurora Shores and we have a five star wood bison. Now, I didn't expect to be finding a five-star one of these so quickly. I saw him as a three-star adult, and he actually grew then into, like, a four-star mature, and then into a five-star mature. So that was really cool to watch. Now, that shot I thought was actually all right. I was just trying to squeeze a shot in there before he sort of went down into that dip and out of sight. But unfortunately, it didn't kill him. I spent about an hour, maybe slightly longer, chasing him around through the trees and through mountains. He went up into the mountains. Could never get a shot on him again. And eventually he just disappeared. So I ended up just waiting until the next day. Went back to the same area and thankfully him and his herd were there. Managed to get a second shot onto him, thankfully. I was really panicking that he was somehow going to end up dying, but he never did. I ended up getting that second shot. Thankfully, the second shot brought him down nice and quickly, as you will have seen. And he's just an absolute tank. The size of these things, when you actually walk up to them on the ground, they are just huge. And he's just a beautiful grey-coloured old bull. Just so fantastic. And I was really upset that that first shot wasn't good because I do like to bring down these animals with, the, you know, a quick, clean shot. I know it's just a game, but it's just how I like to be. I like to make one very quick, clean shot. Now, taking a look at what actually happened with that first shot in the camera here, and you can see with this bullet camera, it shows that it went back into the intestines. Now, that's just a poor shot, and, you know, it's my bad for making a shot like that. I didn't think that was the angle I had. I should have maybe been just a little bit more cautious, and it would have saved me a lot of time. But thankfully, the second shot did actually get him. Now, I had to hold the shot a little bit high just because I didn't want it to end up clipping onto the ground or anything because he was slightly in a dip. So I kept that shot high, but it still went through the top of that one lung, and that was enough to actually bring him down. Like I said, really unfortunate about that first shot. I was really disappointed in myself when I saw that he actually ran off. I really was, you know, desperately trying to bring him down. So I'm really, really thankful that I managed to get that second shot on him and actually bring him down as a five star. What a beast. He's a 96.28% five star wood bison. Look at the horns on this guy. He's an absolute tank. These guys look so cool. The models are so well done. He scores 463. Again, it maybe could have scored higher. Same, same with the Sitka deer, but I'm really not fussed. He, you know, as soon as he became a five star, I was just ready to smoke him. I don't really like, like I said, leaving five stars, running the risk of them dying. I've done that once with Bighorn and didn't like that I ended up losing a five star. So it's, you know, for me, if I find the five star, I'd rather just smoke it, especially with, you know, first ones ever. But I'm still thrilled. He's still a five star. He's still huge. What an absolutely incredible animal. Just look at the size of the horns, like I said. They just look absolutely fantastic. The five stars are really, really awesome. And I was super stoked to get a five star bison. Now, straight on to the next five star and the final five star in this video, we have a five star Roosevelt elk. Now, I really wanted to find a five star Roosevelt elk because I wanted to see what they look like actually being a five star. We've seen a lot of the really wonky racks with the bugged racks, you know, where they have one antler that's the correct size and one antler that appears to be a five star. So I wanted to see what an actual five star with two even antlers looked like. And I ended up finding this guy as a four star, went back after he aged actually on the same day as the bison, because once the bison aged, I figured, hey, an age cycle must have happened. Went to check on this elk, called him, which is actually where you'll see the first clip. I called because they were in some vegetation. He came out and he was a five star. Now, as you will have seen, he did actually spook. That was because the wind was bad and I was trying to get in position because I just had to hit record really quickly because, oh my gosh, suddenly there's a five star Roosevelt elk in front of me. But uh, even though he spooked, it was kind of the same situation with the Sitka deer. He ran off and then I heard some, you know, noise, it, twig snapping or whatever with the sound cues and decided, uh, okay, maybe that's him. 
did some calling and I actually spent maybe five to ten minutes calling and getting responses back from the from the group. And then finally he came in. I wanted to take him with the crossbow, but because there was that other bull there, decided not to risk it and just take him with the 338. And as you'll see, I put that shot like right in through the shoulder. But the 338, being an absolute beast of a gun, actually still did plenty of work and brought him down nice and quickly. So I was super happy with that. Like I said, seeing him as a four star, I was crossing my fingers he'd actually make it. I've had some heartbreaks with four stars on this map already, mainly with caribou. But I was really hoping that this guy would actually make it, even though he looked really grey. And he did actually hang on and make it to 5 star. Now he's an 89.79% on the genetics. And taking a look at the score, he's a 464. Now once again, maybe could have got bigger if I'd left him. But once again, really not concerned when it's my first of the, you know, first five star of this species. I'm not just going to let him walk away and potentially die. Especially when he looked as grey as he did. There was no way I'm risking that. This is an incredible trophy and I'm so happy to put him in my lodge. I mean, just look at the antlers on this guy. They're so incredible looking. The dark, dark colour antlers with the, the ivory tips just look so, so gorgeous. I couldn't believe that I actually managed to find a five star of these. Even though they are bugged at the minute, you still can find the five stars. And I was really crossing my fingers that maybe I could find one. And I got lucky enough to actually find him. And I'm just absolutely stoked. In the trophy lodge, he looks amazing. The antlers are just ridiculously huge. So I'm just absolutely stoked. I have now got got three five stars in my trophy lodge already and yeah i'm super super happy i'm really hoping that i'll be able to find some more five stars on this map i'm working hard at managing my herds and trying to grow them so hopefully eventually we'll see like five star caribou that's one that i'm desperate for i have had three four star mature caribou that have all died and it's been absolutely heartbreaking i'll actually share some pictures here at the end of the most recent four star who just looked amazing and i was really hoping he'd make it but unfortunately he was just not able to he ended up dying and that was just really unfortunate but hopefully now his genes will have passed on to that herd and hopefully maybe one of the youngsters will eventually end up as a five star because yeah five star caribou is the top of my list from this map they look incredible as four stars and so i really would love to find a five star so fingers crossed that happens but i really was looking you know to try and find five stars for all the species all the new species and they've all been absolutely incredible all with you know little stories to go with them and that's what i love about this game you know having the sitka come in and come in too close and then spook the wood bison with the first unfortunate shot and then managing to get him on the second the elk coming in while i was having to just quickly try and hit record and then me accidentally spooking him as well but then actually managing to call him in that was a really cool experience so yeah i i'm really really happy i, I hope that comes across i'm so stoked about finding these five stars and i couldn't wait to share it i've been like sitting waiting to actually share these and yeah i just couldn't wait any longer so that's why there's only three five stars in this video um normally i'd put more but i just really wanted to share these because yeah i'm super super stoked but that is going to be it for this video so thank you so so much for watching and for all your support as always really hope you have enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one thank you